Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today because this is one of my favorite videos to do. We are gonna cover the insiders tell all. One thing that we get is I get comments, I get direct messages, I get emails from people that work for companies or, or you know, completely aware of situations that they may or may not want people to know, but they want the audience to know that things are much worse than they think. So we're gonna cover that today. Please don't forget to like the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video and comment on it because this I love doing this one. This one's fantastic. Plus today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold, and I will talk about them later. First things first, guys, Canada. These are in no particular order. This is just the potpourri of what I randomly pulled out this morning. In Canada, the real estate market is in real trouble, okay? The average price of a home in Canada is actually more expensive than it is here in the United States. Convert the money, you know, use rubles, use whatever you want. The Canadian money, it costs more to buy the average home in Canada than it does here in the United States. Now, new home builders, the largest home builder out there, last quarter, in the, the last quarter of 2023, they sold just over 2,000 homes, okay? And uh, that's in one quarter, guys. Okay, 2,000 houses in one quarter. The first quarter of 2024, 479 houses, guys. It is absolutely catastrophic, guys. It is absolutely off the deep end, and you're going to see major problems with real estate globally. Now, here, one of the big four companies, and I can't say the person that told me that, they said, please keep me anonymous, okay? One of the big four home builders here is so concerned with the rampant cancellations that they have for new construction. In other words, people go out, put a house under contract, and then they watch channels like this and come out of the ether and realize, wow, we could really get divorced if uh, we buy a depreciating asset and the house that we buy for $800,000 drops down to six. We could be in real trouble. Yeah, you could. So they're canceling these contracts. But what's the home builder doing? They are handholding these people. They are walking them through these transactions in such a way that, listen, Carol, Bert, come out to the house. Just want to show you. I, you know, I, I think on Thursday or Friday, if you guys want to come out and see the, the status of where it's at and how, how it's coming along, we can do that. Things they never did before. Stay away from the house. It's a hard hat area. We don't want you near it. No, no, no. They want you to make sure that you feel good about this. And what they're doing right now, to think about this, if you start to show signs of, ah, you know, we're gonna cancel this. Now, understand this. There are people out there that can afford a house right now, okay? I don't care, Dan, if I pay 25% more for my house because I'm gonna live there forever and I'm gonna be retired and this is gonna be my house and we're gonna put 50% down and we don't care. But what's happening is with these large home builders, especially this one that reached out to me, is if the people show any sign, any sign of leaving, that they do everything they can to throw stuff in, the transaction. So think about this. I know you guys had those tile countertops and the, uh, the vanity baths, but what if I could get you granite in those bathrooms? Would that keep you in, in the project? I had, might do that, okay? They're doing that. So if you know anybody that's in new construction right now, just act like you're gonna kick it out, even if you're not. Just act like and see what they'll throw in. Now, the next thing, and again, no particular order, auto insurance, okay? Um, I had Scott write to me, and his auto insurance went uh, from $3,600 with MetLife, who was overtaken by farmers, to, uh, it was renewed, taken over by farmers, and they kept the insurance to say, hey, welcome to the farmer's family, we love you, and uh, uh, when he got his renewal, it went to uh, $6,800. Now, I have a friend that's in farmers, that sells farmers insurance, and I said, Lee, is this how this is? And he said, wait, Dan, that guy got a $6,800 price quote? He got a deal, okay? This thing is going through the roof right now with what prices are. He's lucky he got the, pro the policy renewed. Now, the first, you know, his name was uh, Scott. Scott went out and he uh, uh, transferred the policy to somebody else to save some money, okay? Do you guys understand this, that they know what they're doing to us in so many different ways, so many different ways. Now, 
The next one, Steve sent me a great story. His wife works at US Bank. I can't use her name because it's kind of unique and you'll be able to determine who she is. But her job, and he said, Dan, I want you to understand the big problem right now is credit card fraud with US Bank. Every day she comes home with new stories of people clicking on things, different problems. So I reached out to different people that I know that work at US Bank and they said, Dan, this, is, this has been catastrophic. It's absolutely insane what is happening right now with the credit card fraud. Now, think about this. Mary wrote me and said, I work at the bank, okay? And um, I, I work for a major credit card company, okay? Not US Bank, but another one. And she said, you know, you're right about something. People should not have electronic uh, uh, emails for their statements. They should get the statements sent out to them via paper because all the changes and everything with the policy has to be reported uh, to them and they have to send you those notices and they just send people emails until it says statement over 90% of the people don't even open the emails you get an email from your bank and 90% of you think it's just a sales pitch so why would I want to be here you know what I mean it's crazy so what you're seeing is this is only getting worse guys this is only getting worse, but you have to check your statement because both people said to me that the fees, you know, they want to lower the late fee down to nothing. Do you think the bank's going to make nothing on us? No way. The bank knows they're going to make money on us. And what they're doing is they're going to, um, they're going to come up with creative ways to have fees. Too many transactions, too many payments. How about this one? One of my credit cards, okay issued a statement that you're not allowed to do more than one electronic payment a month. Go ahead. You're not allowed to, you're gonna, uh, so think about that. Well, I like to pay three and four payments a month, and I do. That's what my thing is, okay? Especially on the work cards. No, 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 we can't allow that. You have to mail a check in. And then those checks will be held for 14 days. Wait a second. I've had this account for, you know, 25 years now, okay, because I'm an old man. Yeah, we don't care. We don't care, guys, okay? So you're going to see more of this. I am in Huntington Beach, guys. That's the Pacific Ocean. Um, this is, you know, the area right next to Main Street and it's super windy today, but you're seeing a problem with all these vacancies, all these businesses that keep going out of business over and over again, okay, in this beautiful resort town. So share your thoughts on this stuff so far, but there's more to cover, okay? Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. I don't have to tell you what gold has done lately. All you have to do is turn on your TV, open a newspaper, or fire up your laptop, and you will see that gold is just going through the roof right now. You need to get it from a reliable source. The number one place to get it is Patriot Gold Group. Call them today, 888-330-1431. Now, think about this, guys. They have 401ks, IRAs that can get backed by physical metals. You need to look at that now. They sell all types of metals. Contact them today. They're number one rated. They have the best in class service and they're just amazing. Check it out. But listen guys, when you look at UBS that says that gold could go as high as $4,000 an ounce, you do not want to miss out on this. Contact the good people at Patriot Gold Group today. 888-330-1431. Get a free investor guide. If you don't want to call them, fill out the form below, click on it, and they will send you the free investor guide. It's absolutely no obligation. But contact Patriot Gold now before it's too late. One thing that I do not understand is how gas prices can go up on the same day. In other words, a gas station owner buys gas. The gas is in the ground. And then sometimes you'll drive by in the morning and go, oh my gosh, it's $5.99. And then you drive back two hours later, oh my gosh, it's 614. He has not a delivery, but he has been told to raise the price of the gas. Okay, now I had a owner of a gas station write me and tell me, Dan, because of the instability in the Middle East, we're going to see one hour notices on price increases. So you better have the staff available to change the prices at your stations. Get ready, guys, get ready. You're going to see gold, you're going to see 
Yeah, it might as well be gold. You're gonna see oil easily hit $100 a barrel coming up, but you're going to see gas go up daily. So do yourself a favor. You know, the, the person that buys 10 bucks a day and you know goes and you know, and then I'll just when I need it, then I'll put more in there. Don't do that. Fill your tank right now, okay? And I went out yesterday and uh, filled the tanks and all the cars and everybody I knew that I could help out and did that just because of what's going on the instability of this marketplace. That's the first thing. The next thing is I spoke to an economist who said, Dan, this inflation nightmare is only going to get worse. You're going to see it continue to rise and they're going to lie and they're going to blame it on things like supply chains and wars and things like that. But this is something that it all comes down to the money that was given out and the money that they're going to continue to give out because right now, if they ever, the central banks ever stopped loaning the money, it would just dry up and die and we'd have a major catastrophe in the uh, uh, stock market and in uh, uh, the uh, market as far as banks, as far as your available cash. Okay, I'm trying not to run into somebody as I do this. Um, but one thing that he sent me was, you got to look at this story where it's costing the average family $1,049 a month to get by right now. Wow, guys, $1,000 a month extra for a family of four right now. It's, you know, guys, you know, 1,200, 12, you know, $1,500 a year. That is nuts, guys, right now. Who has that extra money? Nobody has that, but everything, everything in our lives right now is going to go up you know, and it's going to, to jump up in a huge, huge way. I love this downtown area, but it's very sad to see this resort town. As we get closer, you know, spring is here, guys. You know, yes, it's overcast today, but you got chicks in bikinis out there and people surfing and uh, places like this should not be for lease, guys, okay, in a normal economy. So let me know, guys, what you think about that. But who has the money for this? And now the other thing is, there are things that you should stock up on, and the experts are talking about that because you're only going to see prices grow, go up. Now, Target did something where they said that they're going to implement these dollar brands, and I haven't found a Target yet that's done it. I spoke to a Target manager. Don't say it's me, and it's in my local neighborhood, so I can't say what city that one is. But he said, listen, we were told about this, and we've seen nothing else about it. It was kind of like a news story that was given out. So, hey, we're gonna have dollar items. Don't worry about the dollar store. We're gonna take over for that. And they're not, they're not going to do this, guys. So get yourself ready, guys. Get yourself ready because you need to stock up on certain things. You need to stock up on water with, you know, World War III right around the corner. You have to prepare yourself. And when the experts talk about gold shooting up, and commodities shooting up. Don't buy gold, guys, just buy silver. Just do yourself a favor and buy silver. I bought a lot of $30 an ounce silver, guys, and I have sold none of it. So get yourself ready, guys, get yourself ready. Let me know what you think about this so far. You know, earlier this week, I spoke about the water bills doubling, and I had somebody that works for uh, PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric, basically like San Diego's, uh, company. They reached out and said, Dan, wait till you see what we're doing. They're holding nobody accountable for this. And I found a great story about this too, but they're going to basically raise your electric rates by 25 to 30%. Well, how can they do that, Dan? Isn't this regulated by the state? Well, what they're going to do is have additional fees, additional, additional connection charges. Oh, you're a new charge. Uh, you're a new customer. Bring a bigger deposit. You're going to see things that we haven't seen in decades but these places do not know how to run a business and do not know how to make money so what are they going to do they're going to charge us more so get ready for your electric bill to go through the roof now here in california we're getting ads for a new bank called bmo bmo and i'm like what a terrible name for a bank well then i had this story sent to me by somebody whose family member was a victim of this and bank of montreal bmo had a problem where now they're getting sued for, you know, because they allowed $1.5 million in transfers from customers' accounts without any authorization. So the money was not authorized. They didn't agree to this. And people woke up and, and you know, uh, Bernice had uh, uh, $63,000 taken out of her account. But these poor people 
are, are doing this and having to go and collect this. And now this goes to one of the final things on this, and that is, think about this. You know, when you get into a car accident, fender bender, some idiot hit your car's parked and some guy hits you, okay? Well, you know, you gotta deal with the insurance company. The insurance companies and Scott from uh, State Farm is telling me, we are doing everything. We are under mandate not to settle claims right now. We are under mandate to drag out and delay as long as possible. The repairs, the payouts, everything. So, you know, if you get injured, you should hire an attorney, right? Because you need a, a personal injury attorney because, you know, that drunk hit you. Well, it's almost as if, guys, you should hire an attorney now because of everything that's happening. It's just such shenanigans. And, uh, you know, I asked a, an, a lawyer, I said, you know, what would you charge somebody just to make sure the claim settled? He goes, oh, that would be minimal, Dan, but it would be worth it because if they think you're gonna sue, they're gonna, they're gonna pay the claim right away. So, once again, we're all being messed with on our credit card bills, on our cable bills, on everything, okay? Now, my mother, you know, God love her, she died in 2018, but she loved the Dodgers, okay? We don't know why, but she did. And uh, they have Spectrum Cable here. And uh, one thing that's happened is it's in cable and uh, all that stuff has gotten incredibly expensive. And one trick that she did was, I'm on a fixed income, I can't do this. Well, let us call mom for you. No, 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 let me do this. And she would get everything from the movie packages and everything thrown in there. And I told the story a few times and I had somebody that works for DirecTV who said, wow, that's exactly what we do, Dan. If you say you're broke and you're gonna cancel the service and you're gonna go to Tubi or Pluto or Roku TV, all free things, we don't want that. We'd rather get 50 bucks a month from somebody than go out and lose you as a customer. So more to come, guys. You're just craziness. Two final things. The idiot mayor in uh, uh, Denver uh, wants to slash the police. This is not an insider thing. This is just a story I found. And uh, this last two ones are not insiders, just stories that I found because it shows how insane the world is. And he wants to slash the police and, and the fire department and your local services to fund the migrants and make sure that they have their fair share when they come in. So you're not good enough, but they're gonna fund these people. Wow, 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 guys, okay? Final story, Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland has a real problem with vagrancy, bad areas. You can go out, guys, and if you want to buy a house for an investment, they have houses that are $1,000, okay? $1,000. Isn't that crazy? Now, it gets even better. If you want to live in the house and stay there and, and play Escape from Baltimore and take your life into your own hands, you can buy the house for a dollar, $1.00. Read the stories below, guys. Things are insane right now, okay? So, always love this stuff, guys. Send it to hello at iallegedly.com. I will not use your names. I will protect your identity. If you don't want me to talk about the company, I will not do that. But I'm gonna end with this final one. There's a woman that's a, I'm gonna call her L, okay? Who's a major contributor to the channel. And she works uh, for a home improvement company and works in the call center, inbounds call center, where she would normally, on a normal month, she would get, think about this, hundreds of calls in a day, one after another. Put the phone down, it would be ringing. She got six the other day, six phone calls, okay? People are not spending money, people are not buying anything. Tell me, guys, if you have stuff like this. So let me know, okay? I love doing this. Thank you guys, one and all, and, uh, can't wait to share more. But if you have insider stuff like this, send it over and uh, be safe, okay? Onward and upward, guys. I'll see you soon.